Hi, in previous videos we have seen how to do a roughing and a semi finishing using a rough contour. Now we will remove maximum material from this plane using a finish, finishing uh, scallop toolpath. To create that you go to fish, uh, finishing toolpath, click on scallop, select the 3D model and select the containment boundary here you can see that I have created a boundary I have taken this edge and this edge and connected it at these two points circularly so that is my new boundary so I, I will create a toolpath within this region and after the toolpath is created I will be transforming this transform rotation uh, rotate this tool path at a 45 degree at 8 instances so I select this sketch as my boundary and click OK So after Mastercam toolpath window is open, go to tool filter, click on none, select radius and mid, click on library tool. I am going to use diameter 10 ball nose cutter and click OK. then go to service parameters I'm going to use clearance plane of 5mm retract plane of 3 and feed plane of 2 and leave a stock of 0.1 and after entering all these details go to finish scallop parameters click on total tolerance After entering the tolerance, go to maximum step over. I'm going to use 0.2 as step over, and you need not mention the depth limits because software itself will calculate. And go to gap settings, define the motion gap. I'm use using broken, and I'm click checking this optimized cut order. And once that is done click OK This is the toolpath that is created. Let us check the simulation of it. So I extended the surface outside 
so it, there will be a little bit cutting in air you have to do the same for inside also because at this particular point it will remove maximum material The best part about this particular toolpath method is the surface quality is very good and maximum material is removed. It's highly trusted uh, program and this can be very well used as a finishing program as well. Next, in next video I'll show you how to transform or rotate this particular toolpath in 8 instance you don't need to create toolpath once again the, the already created toolpath can be rotated